All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator 2. We are here in free build and we're gonna build something. We're gonna build something different, something special, something you could not build in PC Building Simulator 1, but we're gonna build it in PC Building Simulator 2 because it's something we can do and I want to do it and here we go. Uh, we're gonna build like, well, we're gonna build like a PC with a lot of water cooling. That's not necessarily like super unique, but uh, we are gonna do something using quad SLI. Oh, sorry, no, it's not SLI, quad crossfire. Uh, so that should be kind of fun. So we're gonna build basically a computer with a bunch of GPUs that are all water cool. Let's do it, let's jump in, let's do it. Uh, we're gonna use, it's actually right here, the Corsair Obsidian Series 1000D. Uh, we don't necessarily need a case this big, but I figured it'd give us more room to operate. So let's just do it. Let's, uh, I don't even know if I'm really gonna need to open that panel, to be honest. I'm gonna remove our dust filter up top, the one in the front as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and install our motherboard. Uh, there's probably a few motherboards you could do this with. I basically looked through and was looking at the number of multi GPU, well, not that, the number of PCI slots. So there are some that have five, there's some that have four. Um, I found a few that have four that should, the spacing should work to actually get four GPUs in there. Uh, so the MSI uh, Meg X570 Godlike is a good one. You can see those are pretty nicely spaced out. It should work for single slot cards, uh, AKA water-cooled cards, because really you're not gonna get anything single slot that's powerful anymore unless it's on water. So uh, there we go. So X570. Uh, God Light from MSI is a $700 motherboard in the game, so not too cheap, but should do the, the job pretty well. We're not able to water cool this motherboard. There are some motherboards you can water cool in the game, of course. None of the ones that you can water cool have four nicely spaced out uh, PCI slots. So uh, that's, that's that, basically. So let's get a CPU put in there. We're going to go ahead and top it out with the 5950X, 16 core. CPU uh, last generation, but still very, very capable. And yeah, so we're good there. I'm gonna also just throw, let's get all of our storage just thrown in here. Not super, super critical. That's not storage, this is storage. I still think that, well, just the, the card is zero should be good. What's the fastest? Is this the fastest? Eh, eh. Oh, this one's faster, 5,000 megabytes per second. Okay, let's do that. Sure, why not? Let's just, it's not the most expensive. It's also not the largest, so we'll just put over that. Super fast though, cool. What was the speed of the other one? 3,200 megabytes. That's actually pretty, 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 pretty different. Okay, so there's that. We got our three M.2 slots populated. Good, we're gonna get, need to get some GPUs in there. We're gonna need to get some RAM in there. We're gonna need to get some water cooling going. Let's actually start with RAM. So uh, we've got memory obviously, you know, in, in the game as, as it is. Uh, I'm surprised that this is still showing because I've already put this in a computer. Let's pretend that's not there. I guess free build is weird, um, but basically, <laughs> Throwing me, it's throwing me off so much. Uh, so I was gonna go with Triton Z Royal Elite DDR4 Gold, 16 gig, 4800 megahertz, and have to water cool it. So you'd come over here, you would choose memory, you would choose Elite or something like that, right? We go in here, it would ask, would you, do you wanna do four sticks or two? We would do four and we come in here and we'd actually pull these apart. So we'd lose our super glamorous heat sinks on there and we'd go in and we'd actually pull off all these thermal pads and then we replace them with oh gosh oh i can't exit now so we're we're committed um i guess we'll just we'll walk through the process so we'd remove all of these thermal pads from all four of our dims boom 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 then we back out we put on thermal pizzly thermal thermal pizzly thermal grizzly thermal pads so we throw these on here i'm really bad at clicking on these this is like a pretty time consuming little process okay then we throw it back up in our little RAM buddy, anti-static, and then we throw our alpha cool DRAM heatsink, and then the DRAM water block for four dims. Boom, and there's that. And then we take it, and basically now it's in our inventory, just like what we already saw it was in our inventory. So let's pretend, anyway, we did it, right? So now we can install it. So now we have water-cooled RAM, which is pretty cool. And, um, you know, if you really wanted that awesome looking Trenzy Royal Elite, sorry, now it's just a big block of black and aluminum pretty much. But there it is, water-cooled RAM. 
all in a, in one, one nice little package. So some cool water cooling fun stuff. That's new in Peace Building Simulator 2. Uh, what is not new is water cooling CPUs, but what is new is putting thermal paste on them. I guess we'll do that. Therm putting thermal paste on manually, that is. We had to do it before. I just didn't do it like this. Thermal sufficient paste applied. Uh, let's get a CPU block. I like this Ryzen Tech Forcus Elite. It looks nice. It looks good with my black and like gunmetal aluminum theme we got going on here. Very utilitarian. Now let's get some GPUs in here. I actually can't remember. I think I might have to take all these PCI covers out. I can't remember. So let's get some GPUs in here. This is going to be the fun part. Uh, we're going to have to do water cool GPUs. And then we need one that has a max multi GPU of four. Um, and I'm sorted by cost high to low. So, you know, you could theoretic, I think this is actually maybe the most expensive GPU setup you can do. I have to look and see like how it balances with motherboard pricing and whatnot. But the uh, RX 6900 XT water cooled, which is, wait, what is, how, how much, how, how much was it? Sorry, $1,700. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty big bump compared to the 3090, which you can only do two of anyway. Yeah, that 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 could that could be cool. That could probably overcome a very expensive motherboard. So let's get those in there. Oh, I, I chose the wrong one. Uh, 6900 XT. So let's get those in there. One. These are, I actually think these are really good looking cards water cooled too. I like the Radeon on the, on the Corsair block. They just look, they look so clean. The Corsair blocks look super clean. Three. And nope, not vertical. We can't do that. Four. There they are. Four GPUs on Crossfire. Pretty cool. Pretty fun. I'll have to like play around and see if there's any. I don't know if I can do any sort of SLI. Like, I'll probably do like a really like probably pretty old graphics cards to do four-way SLI, right? Like we have to go back to like 10 series? Nine? Nine? Nine hundred? I don't know. If, I'm not even sure. Uh, maybe we'll have to look at that at some point. Let's keep going on our water cooling here. Let's get our reservoir in. I like the Ice Becker D5 250 mil because it's big. It's big in a real big case that's looking pretty empty right now. <laughs> it's just, who knew a four GPU build could look so dinky, but the Obsidian Series 1000D is, uh, it's a little dumb. Let's do radiators, get those done quick. I'm gonna go with, unfortunately, the 480 rads from PC Building Simulator 1 are not made into the second game, which is really sad. It makes this case just kind of a little bit of a bummer, um, but we're gonna try to ignore that and just do a couple 360 rads here in the front. We'll mount them in the top three. Yeah, 480 rads look so much better in this case. It's uh, it's a bummer. Hopefully, hopefully they get that added or something. So we'll do the two in the front, and then just because you know we're doing water cooling, Let's throw, I think we gotta go 240 in the back. These are 120 slots. We'll do the fittings down. So there you go, there's a bunch of water cooling. Let's also get a power supply put in. And we're gonna need a beefy one. This is gonna pull about 1300 watts max. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a hungry, it's a thirsty, thirsty girl. There's our power supply. We'll just go with black alien. I don't even care really. This is this is not that important. Uh, case fans. Let's just stick with the B. Be quiet thing. We'll go with the pure, pure wings two 140 mil up here. We got the three fan housing here slots places for them to live. You know. Uh, good. That should be a computer. Everything except for our actual plumbing. And our coolant should be good to go. We got storage, we got memory, we got a CPU, we got thermal paste, we've got GPUs up the wazoo. Life is good. Okay, let's do some piping. I am gonna go, I like the black nickel fittings from EK. And we are going to be, we're gonna be masochists here and go with rigid piping because well, why not? It seems like a fun challenge. We're gonna do a big water cooling build. Let's do it. Let's do it right. So uh, in, out, all right, let's go, we'll go CPU up into our RAM. I'm gonna pro, I'm gonna try to like snap a couple angles here and make this look angular at least. I haven't done like, I haven't done a build with like spending a little bit more time on the actual bends here. So let's, let's spend some time together and make these look 
sharper ish we'll go out our ram in to our pump res combo and let's see we're gonna bring we're gonna snap that back yeah i'm gonna snap that it's probably gonna make it mad yep oh what is this song i'm not familiar okay uh, okay uh, snap that there. Ooh, that's nice. Kind of wraps around that. Get that. Snapped out. Okay. Good. Out. Pump res up into radiator number one in the front. Yeah. That way it won't work. Maybe we'll go like this. Get a couple bends here that we don't need. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Let's actually swing this all the way back. And it's a very large case to try to maneuver around, I'll say. Uh, create some interesting challenges for getting the right perspective on these. That's, I think that's, I think that's correct-ish. Uh, this should be easy, out reservoir into next reservoir. Boom, simple, clean, like it. Out reservoir and into our GPUs. We're gonna enter down here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, it's gonna be a long run. Let's actually go that. Something, are we good there? It's doing something weird, right? Yeah, I don't need you to do whatever that is. Add an extra bends. Yeah, there it is. Okay, nice, good, sharp, good, 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 good. And clean that up. It's not perfect, but I'm. it's good. It's fine, it's good. Okay, and bottom GPU, we'll go like this. Boom, we're just gonna diagonal these along. Except, and out and in to our rear radiator. That's gonna be a really simple, just like a little bit of hurt, hurt, hurt on that. Don't really know if that actually looks better. Uh, you know. There. There. And then last bend right here, back to our CPU to complete the loop. It's an interesting little... Okay. Listen to this music. It's great. Um, yeah. It's looking... Okay, I think we're good. All right, cool. There's that. Let's get some coolant going. I'm thinking like, we got this like black and gray, you know, black gunmetal, metal, you know, we just need to like throw something bright in there. Green? Yellow? Some of the, the RGB will match well with. That's always a challenge. Blue UV? Do we just go, I don't know how bright that's gonna be. Purple? Ooh, I do like me some purple. How clear is this gonna be? I wanna preview it. Cause it never looks, it never, it doesn't look like that, I'll tell you. It's gonna look real light and sad. Clear, I feel like the clear ones are just gonna be, are just disappointing. Purple opaque, this is gonna be not, ah, that's actually not bad, we'll take that. Okay, purple opaque, purple opaque will work. All right, well that's filling and it's gonna take a little while. We're gonna put our dust filters back, front, top. Yeah, we're still filling, up, through, down, look at that. Wish it filled a little faster. And like, you know, more like actual fluid. <laughs> I, it's, I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't, they didn't try to change this animation up a little bit. Cause it's not super, I mean, it's, I guess it's, it's nice to be able to see it gradually fill. You can really see what's happening, but 
it's really time consuming and, and semi dorky. Uh, okay, but there that that that's it. Let's let's go ahead and I should also just have my flash driver any. We can put it in the front. Cut this piece building similar too. And we'll, our, OS should, our OS should install pretty fast here. Kablam! Look at that. We can get some other stuff installed. Look how fast that is. Amazing. Lighting, uh, OCT, wallpapers, Cinebench, sure, any of it. Power mod, I mean, whatever. Uh, nice. Cool. Let's just take a quick look here. OCT, how are our temps? Our GPUs are idling at 20. Let me see all four of them. Zero, one, two, and three. 20C, we're doing it. 380 watts at idle, 400 watts at idle. That's a pretty aggressive idle draw, jeez. Let's see what our actual, uh, our actual benchmark is gonna peg our, our power consumption at. Uh, temps are not an issue, jeez, I'm actually, Sort of surprised that that the radiator is keeping up so well. We're well on our way over a thousand watts. Like I said, I think we'll hit just around thirteen hundred watts. So at twelve sixteen is our peak. Twelve eighty five, thirteen seventy five. Oh, that's almost fourteen hundred. We have a sixteen hundred watt power supply in here. We're good. That should be it. Thirteen seventy six or so. So uh, it's oh fourteen hundred. That's pretty good. That is pretty fourteen thirty. I don't think that's gonna keep spiking up over that. That should, at some, I think that's, that's probably it, right? Right, I think so. Okay, wow, pretty good. Uh, yeah, pretty good power power draw here. I guess, you know, just to, let's go select all, and then we're just gonna go real simple on this. Static, and that's that, look at me. Look at that, I think that looks pretty clean. So there we go, we got four GPUs. Four GPUs. What was the actual price on this? Fourteen thousand nine hundred seventy-four. So uh, could definitely make this more expensive. Different case. Ideally, different CPU. Ideally, ideally DDR5. Uh, who knows? Maybe. Pretty cool though. Fun to be able to do four-way four-way SLI. How does it actually turn out in 3D Mark? I'm gonna run a test here quick, and then we'll look at the result. All right, running just the basic time spy test here. Thirty-one thousand five hundred thirty-six. Graphics test, one and two, there's our four GPUs. Uh, not too bad, so we, for GPU, for graphics scores, we've got 42,238, that is huge. So remember, this is, a, this is this build over here we built in one of my other videos, it was a 3900KF for the CPU and an RTX 4090. Uh, and what was our, our overall was 29,687. So this outperforms it. Um, it is almost twice the price. So I suppose, um, I, should, I guess I should have ch checked and actually seen. I'm curious what the GPU score is here. I wish you could see historic results. That would be super cool. Um, but yeah, this, this is a pretty good performer on the GPU side. We know the CPU is quite a bit weaker. So these four GPUs are outperforming our RTX 4090, which is interesting because that probably wouldn't be the case in real life, but uh, kind of fun anyway. So uh, yeah. There we go, I guess, uh, built a crazy water-cooled computer in the uh, Corsair Obsidian Caesar 1000D and got to use four-way Crossfire, uh, which is new in Peace Building Simulator 2 and pretty fun. So there it is, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy and wanna see more videos of PC Building Simulator 2 or any other games I've been playing, be sure to subscribe and either way, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.